So just south of my antenna field at Holly Farm is a very strange structure that looks like something from a sci-fi movie, but it's no alien artefact. This is a VOR, very high frequency, omnidirectional range. It's an essential piece of technology that helps keep planes on course, and it has been guiding aircraft for decades. And this particular VOR sits near Birmingham in the UK. It's part of a global network of navigational aids that pilots use to stay on track even when they can't see a thing outside. It's one of the many unsung heroes of the aviation world that quietly keeps our sky safe. So the structure, it's roughly 25 metres across. That's the size of about five cars lined up side by side in a car park. And it stands eight to ten metres tall, so it's taller than your average two-storey house. It's bigger than you think. What makes it really special isn't just its size, it's what it actually does. So a VOR transmits two different signals. The first is a reference signal sent out in all directions from the central antenna. And the second is a variable signal that's broadcast from the smaller antennas around the edge. And the clever part is that the smaller antennas don't all transmit at once. The signal electronically sweeps around the station, a bit like a lighthouse beam. And when an aircraft picks up these signals, its receiver compares the two and figures out the angle or the radial between the plane and the VOR. This allows the pilot to know exactly which direction they're flying in relation to the VOR, which is crucial for staying on course. Now, what if you tune into one of these signals with a regular radio? Well, if you had a VHF radio that could pick up frequencies between 108 and 117.95, you'd hear a constant tone, and you'd also hear a Morse code identifier that tells you the VOR's station unique three-letter code. For Birmingham's VOR, you'd hear B I A in dots and dashes. Some stations even broadcast a voice identifier telling you the station name or location. But I'll warn you, it's more functional than fun to listen to. Now, how do pilots use this? By tuning into VOR stations along their route, pilots can follow specific radials and navigate from one station to the next, almost like following a breadcrumb trail in the sky. And if they tune into two VORs at once, they can triangulate their exact position, helping them know exactly where they are, even without GPS. Historically, VOR stations were first introduced back in the 40s, 1940s. One of the earliest stations was in Chicago. Apparently, pilots used to joke that the VORs was louder than their engine noise. But despite the racket, they loved how reliable these stations were. So the next time you see a structure like this, or another one at an airport, you'll know it's more than just a circle of antennas. It's a key part of the invisible web that keeps planes safely on course. Well, now that you've got the inside scoop on VORs, I bid you safe travels. Thank you.